what's going on YouTube? Hometown Fit is coming through, so I just want to make a quick video response to A-Rock's challenge. Where are you at in the Jersey game? Where do you think the Jersey game is headed? Um, also, I want to send a shout-out before I get into that. I want to send a shout-out to my boy, Dodgeball Terrorist. Welcome back, man. We needed you in the Jersey community for sure, making videos. I hope everything outside or uh, on the other side of the camera is perfect for you, man. Um, I hope I hope your life is, is right back where it needs to be health-wise, and, uh, and you're back with us uh, full-time, even if you're not doing pickups. Just make uh, videos talking about the jerseys or whatever, you know. I, I always respect your uh, history talk on, on jerseys and stuff like that. Also, um, let's get into it right now, you know what I'm saying? Um, where do I think the jersey game is headed? I think it's headed for a very, very dark place. Um, and by dark, I mean it's headed towards just a big money grab. A-Rock, you are 100% Right, uh, it's all going to come down for advertisements on jerseys. That's all it's going to be. We're going the way of NASCAR. You you wait for it. It's going to happen. It's going to be really, really crappy. Um, you can see it in the AHL, which is the American Hockey League. They already got advertisements on their jerseys. The CF CFL, which is a terrible football league, I realize, but they've got advertisements on their jerseys too, like Home Depot and stuff like that. It's just terrible. So... Anywhere they can find a blank spot, they're going to put a logo on it for sure because, hey, money talks and money is the root of all evil and leagues can see that and, and they're going to start putting that money out. They're going to start saying, yeah, do this, do that. We'll sell you this little little spot on this jersey for for like 20 grand or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? It's all about money. Jerseys will be covered covered with, with advertisements soon. It's going to be disgusting. Um, you can already see it, like, uh, back in the day, the old NHL jerseys used to have the logos down on the bottom of the jersey. Now, Reebok puts it at the top there, so you can see the, the Reebok logo. It's all about logos. It's all about product placement. Even though people know what jersey they're wearing, they still have to put it at the bottom. And that's what I'm saying, like, back in my What the HTF video. I think it was, uh, the second one where I was, like, all about team companies. Um, it was better when there was different companies battling, opposed to just one that was ru uh, ruling the whole league. You know what I'm saying? The only one, shout out to um, Majestic. Majestic is the only company that is made in USA. Um, shout out to uh, Majestic for holding out and, and being strong with this true USA stuff. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being made over in Indonesia or in China or in Hong Kong or wherever, just because it's cheaper to make it there and get it shipped over here and then sell it to us. Um, and and to tell you the truth, Majestic, Majestic, in my opinion, has the highest quality of, of product out there. And I think that's because it's made here. Uh, no offense to the overseas, but it's some of it's terrible. Like the Swingman uh, NBA jersey of the Swingmans, they are terrible. <laughs> I got I gotta tell you that right now. Uh, we have them at the jersey shop. I look at them. The stitching on the inside, it has that felt that you know that fake thing that I was talking about. They have that in the in the, in the Swingmans. I don't know what the pros look like, but the Swingmans have that felt stuff inside. It's disgusting. Um, Anyway, so that's that's what I want to talk. I I think the jersey the jersey uh, game is is headed to a very 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 dark place. So like A Rock said, hold on to your stuff, man, because it's everything you've been collecting from back in the day. It's it's going to be something to be desired because you're never going to see it again. Um, so that's where I think it's headed. Where am I in the jersey game right now? I'm in the jersey game of. Uh, I like to collect uh, blanks now is what I'm into. Not blanks to the point where there's no team logos, but just no team, uh, no no uh, player name on the back and number. Uh, I want to get them personalized like that Blue Jay jersey, that 1993 World Series one. I want to get uh, Pat Borders on it, or sorry, 1992. Uh, I want to get Pat Borders on the back because he was the, uh, the World Series MVP for 1992, and that was the first uh, World Series that a Canadian team had ever been in. And I think that Mitchell Ness really dropped the ball on that one by not putting out a Pat Borders jersey. Um, I think a lot of people even overlook poor Pat Borders. I mean, he was a great back catcher for the Toronto Blue Jays in 1992 and in 93. I mean, when Juan Guzman was pitching, he was the only one that could scoop a ball out of the dirt. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to Pat Borders, man. He had a, he had a gun of an arm uh, from, from behind the plate. and He threw out uh, Deion Sanders in the World Series. So, shout out to Pat Borders, man. And Mitchell Ness should, should definitely jump on that. Um, so that's where I'm at in the Jersey game. I really, really love getting blanks and just making them my own, opposed to trying to get a grail. Now I just want to make them my trophy. It's basically what I'm looking at. So that's where I'm at. Hometown fit is fitter, snap, snapper, fit it, keep them clean, keep them crisp. Thank you to all my subscribers, everybody that watches my videos. I know I say it a lot, but you guys are the ones that keep me making videos. I mean, if I only had one subscriber or, or no subscribers, I wouldn't be making videos anymore. So I only do it for to give you guys something to do, and I love making videos. It's like an it's like 
like an addiction to me. So shout out to all you guys, everybody that's on HTF Nation, everybody that's on my fan page, everybody that's in Kings of Throwbacks, everybody that's in uh, Jersey Kicks and Lids on that, that uh, Mark Danner's uh, page. Shout out to all y'all, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, all the OG Jersey collectors out there, all my hat collectors and all the baseball guys. Shout out to all y'all, man. Hometown Fittings. You already heard my slogan. I'll catch you next time. Keep watching. Keep subscribing. Peace.